Halima Sadia Lawali walked seven and a half miles so her one-year-old daughter, Basira, could be treated for malnourishment at World Visions Clinic in Mayara, a village in southeast Niger. The day I visited the clinic last August, hundreds of women were packed into the courtyard, waiting in a line for World Vision staff to test their children for malnourishment. Most had walked from surrounding villages, carrying children on their backs. World Vision is a Christian development organization with an annual operating budget of $1.2 billion. The group focuses on helping children in nearly 100 countries escape poverty and injustice. Testing for malnourishment is a three-step process at this clinic. First, the child is weighed. Then, an assistant measures its height and around its upper arm. If the height-to-weight ratio is below a certain number, the child is diagnosed as malnourished and is sent inside to be treated. Basira had tiny arms for her height and was declared malnourished. Inside, a staff person gave Halima a seven-day supply of Plumpy Nut, a peanut butter paste packed with nutrients. They would come back next week for another measurement and supply of food. This World Vision Clinic, which diagnosed about 30 to 40 cases of malnourishment the day I visited, is only equipped to treat patients with Plumpy Nut and give some basic vaccinations. For anything more serious, like stomach or intestinal problems caused by malnourishment, parents must take their children to Galmi Hospital, about 150 miles west of Mayara. Built in the 1950s, when Niger was still a French colony, Galmi is clean and modern compared to the small clinic in Mayara, but looks antiquated to Western eyes. Much of the equipment was donated to the hospital after American hospitals moved on to newer and better tools. Galmi has 110 beds, but often overflows during malaria season and other epidemics. Mothers and malnourished children can stay at the CREN, the Centre de Réhabilitation et d'Éducation Nutritionnelle. The CREN is an outbuilding on the hospital's grounds with beds and rooms for 14 women. Here mothers learn about nutrition and ways to feed their babies. The hospital's chief surgeon, Yukubu Sanusi, treats many patients with complications from malnutrition. He is one of two surgeons at Galmi. Like most medical centers in Niger, which has one doctor for every 30,000 people, Galmi is understaffed and physicians and nurses are overworked. When I visited in the late morning, pediatrician Dennis Shalhassi had already seen 30 patients since starting his day at 7.15. Doctors and medical staff at places like Galmi and the World Vision Clinic are doing their best to meet the needs. Shohassi said he rarely sees the same patients twice at the CREN, so nutrition education is working. But the going is slow. When I asked what they need most, Dennis Shohassi had a list ready. Builders to add a new wing to the hospital, medicine to replenish Galmi's stock, doctors to share the workload, and people trained to teach Nigerians about health care and nutrition to prevent diseases.